I'm off to Twist and Shout, and on the way down, I will be stopping in Charlotte, North Carolina for a balloon jam. I'll be hosting a balloon jam, possibly a lecture, first balloon convention, and my first time vending ever, as far as the balloon bags and stuff. Um, but I kind of want to give you a, just a quick little whoop. I've got the classic um, Namaste bag. All my bags are basically hello in other languages because I travel a lot. So this is my monster. This is my my love. I mean, I've been using this bag and working on this bag and updating this bag since started doing this probably since like 97. Many, many years later, this is what I got. So this is my big Namaste bag. This is the the red and black version. So it's got your pump pockets in that. Everything's spaced out. Um, these are all pockets, so you don't need to do the nozzle ups. But now that both um, Metallitex and Qualitex are doing the nozzle ups, you can literally take the, the bag, rip the top off, and stick it right in the pocket. So it does work, and it works well. So that's the big Nomaste. The same exact bag, it's just I took one section out. So the other bag would be about that big. So this one is a little bit smaller. Um, for the people that are not full-time twisters, this would be a really good one for somebody who does a lot of twisting but is not full-time. The big bags are basically for a full-time twister. Those all have the wire frame and they all zip closed. And then I brought back the old classic big bag, but I actually did it out of the same backpack material that those bags are made out of, the normal state bags are made out of, instead of the cotton. I've been making these for many, many years. Then we have the Swazdi bag. So the Swazdi bag is the kind that has all the elastic loops. It has the Velcro up here. It's got a spot for tools and pens. Um, it does hang on the back of a cropping style or actually on the back of a chair if need be. And you can put your 260s, you can fill it all full of 260s or you could do all prints, hearts. Very good for organizing. Um, great little thing for the face painters. If you don't do a lot of balloons, you can keep this off to the side. Nobody knows what it is, and when you open it, it's full of balloons. So a bigger version, this one is dealing with all pockets. So these are all little pockets. All your 260s go in here, and they Velcro to the top. It does go into a triangle. It can go on the back of a cropping style as well. About one week after uh, Twist and Chow's finished, I'm off to Nepal. So I will be taking orders for... Um, embroidery and custom pieces as well. So if you do need like a panel with that has 12 pockets and you need it a certain size, let me know. Those are things I can take care of over there. I did get more of the Velcro elastic roll um, nozzle ups. And once you close it, you still have the soft and the hard Velcro. These are, regardless of what balloon apron you have, these are great for quick refills. You basically just take that, slap it on, and it'll stick because it's Velcro. I am doing fundraising for Katmandu and Nepal on this. So these are $10. The $10 will go directly with me to Nepal when I go there and get handed over to the Lions Club that we, um, that we help support. And they go around and do relief work and volunteer work for the communities. So that's what we're trying to do for them. This is my, this is my card. So these are the old balloon feet. So you put those on there. It does have the website in very small text, but for the most part, it is shoes. So I will be kind of selling these in like a pack of 50, fairly cheap. Custom embroidery, if you have basically an embroidered piece, like if you have a crop and style, I did this for Lisa McTwister um, last year. She had the balloon starburst, and she wanted just the embroidery to go on to her crop and style. So I made her just the embroidery. She sewed it on. Everybody loves it. I love these. I came up with these a couple, like two years ago. Um, I have four in this style. So what I have here is I have my, my, my flower clown jacket. I do have the size 30 zipper. I do have stock of the zippers right now. The problem is I only have black. So all my zippers are going to be black. Some of them, I love these zippers. They're so cool. And they're huge. And the kids love them. Um, so the jackets, I will be taking orders on them. Um, you can get them with a zipper. You can get them with a lapel. You can get them that button. It's a hoodie, which is really good because I live in Ohio. And they have embroidery on the back. So my flower clown jacket. So, I mean, I could do your logo, something that, of course, is not copyrighted. Um, but basically anything you have that you want on the jacket is possible. Or just doing plain embroidery. So another jacket I got. No embroidery on the front, but a big banana on the back. So I will be taking orders for these jackets uh, down at Twist and Shout and in Charlotte, North Carolina on February 10th. All right. Very good. Thank you guys. I'll see you.
See, down south where it's a little bit warmer than Ohio.